Good morning. This is Dr. Robert. And this morning, on 5-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, the subject is Jyotisha, which is sometimes translated as Indian Astrology, but is more accurately translated as the lure of light, and indicates all of the different systems of divination as taught and practiced in India. I think it's fair to say that there is a, among many people, a general sort of misunderstanding about what Jyotisha is and what it tries to do. Very often in the West and among Western educated Indians, it's regarded merely as a superstition, like a bunch of sun signs you read in the newspaper, and, uh, or in the case of India, that you might watch on TV to get an idea of your lucky number for the day and uh, uh, not having any real further significance than that. For many Indians, on the other hand, it's regarded as being an infallible indicator of your fate. And all too often, I can't tell you how many times, People have shown me their horoscopes and said what, and asked me what is going to happen as if I could tell them exactly what was going to happen. The reason that I could not do that is because in Jyotisha, there is, yes, it is true, the awareness that an individual's horoscope is a map of the karmas that have brought them to be born. Their prarabdha karma, the thing, the set of karmas whose results it was time for them to experience, therefore that have caused them to be born in a particular place and time in order for them to experience those. But there are said to be three different degrees of karma. Dhruta karma, which is the karma you predict on, which is the karma that is in fact very likely to behave as if it were fated in your life. Adhrda karma, which is unfated karma, which allows you much greater uh, spread of uh, whether you, uh, a much greater amount of free will, if you like, instead of fate. And dhrda dhrda karma, which is fixed, but yet not yet completely fixed. The paint has been applied to the wall, it's not dried yet, so you may be able to do something with it. The karmas are in the direction of becoming fixed. They're starting to actually get very, very solidified. But if you work really hard, you might be able to alter the way they display themselves. You may not be able to alter your fate in the overarching sense, but you may be able to play around with it a little bit. Jyotisha, however, is not limited to horoscopes. And very frequently, if I'm on, let's say, an Indian train where everybody gets to know one another to some degree, and I say, uh, yes, I'm a student of Jyotisha, immediately they will put out their palm, because palmistry in India is regarded as being an intimate part of Jyotisha. As are other methods of divination, including, of, most importantly, omenology, this, the ability to actually look out into the world around you and read the signs of what the universe is trying to tell you in a nonverbal kind of way. What Jyotisha really is, is the study of light. The light that is coming from various celestial bodies, including the sun and the moon, that are coming down to us and is a reflection in an as above, so below kind of way of the light that is appearing to us, that is being kaleidoscopically uh, maneuvered around inside our own awarenesses. Uh, in the form of light, it's different colors and shades. In the form of the tastes, it's different flavors and emotions. But they all reflect the different bhava, the different actual experience of life that we have, and the different rasas. The experiences we have of those uh, of, the, of that state that we're in, of the conditions in which we find ourselves, and how well we can take those conditions in which we find themselves and cook them into a pleasant juice, a pleasant rasa, a good life experience that can be beneficial for ourselves and for others. 
Jyotisha is a giant lifelong study uh, and it is something that is has been used for many centuries as a method of psychological counseling in the context of things like Ayurveda. Um, and this on this excellent morning uh, when the sun is waxing and moving towards its greatest ability to provide light to the world at noon, I salute the sun, the other grahas or planets of Jyotisha and I wish benefit to be shown and mercy and grace to be shown by them to all sentient beings. Om and thank you.